the stockyards here in Denver, and they had similar big installations like this all over the West, uh, you know, Fort Worth, uh, Sioux City, uh, Kansas City, uh, places like that, uh, where the cattle, the sheep, the hogs came in on railroad cars like this. This particular one we're standing next to is a narrow gauge which traveled here in Colorado. Uh, but they would bring the animals in and uh, to these centers and uh, surrounding the, uh, the stockyards uh, uh, were the large packing plants. The railroads hauled, hauled everything. So uh, they would bring in the farm machinery, uh, uh, you know, to the market and to, uh, uh, they would deal with all the products uh, that you would need, uh, you know, the, the, the lumber, the timber needed for fencing, the barbed wire. Uh, and this was true in any business and not just, you know, the livestock business. They were, the railroads hauled what was needed uh, over the long distances. Remember, there were no such thing as good paved roads on a national basis until into the late 1930s and 40s. Uh, and so uh, uh, it, it's no exaggeration to say that the railroad was the lifeline for any community, for any product. The yards were a, a general market here and uh, they were served by several different railroads, uh, uh, the Burlington, uh, the Union Pacific, uh, the Denver and Rio Grande, uh, and uh, the tracks were built right up, you know, into these, next to these pens. They'd come in, they'd unload the cattle, uh, and uh, uh, it, it was, uh, you know, the, the stockyards were a major, major customer, a major source of revenue for the railroad. The ranchers uh, would let the railroad agent know, and remember in those days, every little town had a had a depot with a with a railroad agent. Uh, you know, they were getting ready to, to ship their herd out to market, and how many cattle they had, and so the the railroad would bring in empty cars, uh, and uh, then at many places, you know, along the line, they would have these little individual stock pens uh, that had a capacity uh, for holding cattle, uh, maybe. Uh, you know, four or five hundred head of cattle in these in these uh, pens, and then they would gather the cattle. They would bring them in there. They would even drive them in by herd. Uh, you know, herd them in there, and then the uh, the, tra the railroad would have a train available, and they would uh, load them on the side and off of these just car by car. They would load one and then move it on and load another one, and then, like I said, they'd be ready to go. Usually on a uh, an individual train, but sometimes they'd put it on a train with other freight to start the journey in the market. Uh, there are a lot of, uh, of folklore and legend uh, that's built up about uh, uh, the stock trains and they would have on the end, you know, they'd have a, a train of 50 to 60 cars of cattle and then they'd had uh, next to the caboose what they called a drover's car. And the drover's car was to carry the, uh, the cowboys or the sheepmen or whatever the case might have been uh, that accompanied the stock to market and, and looked after uh, the needs of the cattle en route, you know. There was this kind of uh, rivalry, uh, kind of uh, antipathy between the, uh, the railroad men and the, uh, and, the, and the livestock guys. And uh, one story I remember hearing from an old railroader is, you know, why, why didn't you like uh, a job uh, hauling the cattle? And he said, well, those cowboys smelled just about as bad as the animals that they were accompanied. Well, the, the big yards like this, uh, the ones here in Denver and Chicago, which was the famous one, uh, uh, where they brought the livestock into the big cities, eventually was replaced by uh, a more decentralized system where you had a lot of small regional packing plants. They would truck the, uh, the animals into those locations uh, and then uh, uh, process the meat and then ship it out from there. Uh, again, mostly by truck, but still it could be done in refrigerator cars. And it changed the whole, uh, the whole nature of the distribution system.